How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to set up Linux on your Chromebook. Okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way down here. And if you have advanced, you're going to click advanced in settings. You're going to go down here to developers. And right here, Linux development environment. Run Linux tools. Okay? This is pretty, pretty cool and pretty amazing what you can do with this. So, we're going to go through this process. Now, before we do that, you're probably going to want to go into the device and you're going to want to go ahead and look at your storage, okay? You want to see how much available storage you have. I have 17 gigs. You only need, I think, maybe like 4 gigs to actually do this, but um, just be aware that that's where it's going to take up your storage on your device when you go through this process and set this up. Because basically what you're doing is you're kind of dual booting in a way. Um, you know, Chrome OS and this Linux environment. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. And it goes through this little process. It asks for your username. And then right here, it recommends 10 gigs of space on your device. You can change that with custom. And I'm actually gonna go down to like eight for, for my purposes here, if I can get it. There it is, eight. But it looks like you could go down as low as two or three maybe even. But, um, you know, you're going to have less space to install things on that environment. So if you go too low, you won't be able to maybe set it up how you want. So just be aware. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. And this process, um, yes, basically it has to download the virtual machine, which is what it's doing, um, so that we'll have that interface to work with and utilize. So we just got to wait for this process to finish. Um, depending on your internet speed, and different things on your device, this process will take longer or shorter. Um, I've actually set this up previously, so I think it's going to actually reset it up fairly quickly, is my guess. So we're gonna let this process finish here, and then I'm gonna show you what this does for you, because you, you kind of think it's like, oh, I got Linux now. Well, kind of, you'll see in a sec. So the process is almost done here. Right now, we're just um, starting the Linux container, which is basically the way they do this is they kind of sandbox things. So what you have is you have um, Chrome in a sandbox and you have this Linux operating system in a sandbox, okay? So um, so here it is right here. And let's just talk about it really quickly. So you can do things like ls. If you want to see where what, what, what all files are in this folder, you can cd dot dot, and that's going to go back one folder in the directory. You can do that again, and you can do an ls. And here's basically the root directory, I think. Let's, let's, let's go try to see if we can see one more. Yeah, this is your root directory. So this is where everything is on your, on your device. Um, and you can run cool different commands in here, right? Um, you can see what kind of utilities you have to work with if you cd into bin. cd is change directory, and we can ls that. And here's all these cool utilities that you can run that are built into this uh, system, right? So basically what you have here is you have a terminal and um, you can exit the terminal as well. If you come down here and we go back into your app drawer right here is where every time you have Linux apps, they're gonna be listed right here. And you can like launch the terminal once again, right? So from here, you can install applications. You can um, do all kinds of cool things and we'll probably get into that in future videos. But the other thing I wanna point out about this now that you have this environment set up is back here in settings, okay? Because it, now that when you click on this option, you have all these other options within here, right? So you can change your disk size. Um, you can allow uh, Linux to access your microphone. You can delete it and just remove it back off the device if you're not utilizing it. Um, Android app development. This is kind of important because you do want to enable this. And we'll get into that in another video as well. Um, you got restores. You got USB so you can manage what... USB devices that are plugged into the computer can be accessed by Linux. So it's a lot of security things here. And then shared folders. Um, shared folders will appear here. So it looks like right here. So shared folders are available on Linux under this. Share click, right click the folder and the file and then select share with Linux. So inside your files here, I'm sure what we can do is we can go in like downloads, for example. And we can, let's see if I can right click. Right here, share with Linux. Boom. Now anything that's downloaded on my Chromebook is now accessible through Linux. Okay? And actually, let's just go look at that really quick. So it said the share folder is under Mount Chrome OS, right? 
So now we can go to CD. We're going to go back to the root directory, ls, and then you saw mount somewhere. Oh, yeah. So we're going to CD to that one, CD to mount, ls. There's the Chrome, so we can do Chrome, and then ls. Uh, is it directly? Well, yeah, no doubt. So CD to Chrome. LS and looks like we could probably go into my files CD my files LS there's downloads so we're gonna CD into downloads and we can LS it and boom there is everything that is in our folders right here right and this can be important for later as you're gonna see but this is really sweet so we have this terminal and there's a ton you can do in this terminal right I don't know if you can do ADB commands or not. Let's just see if they have ADB set up. Doesn't look like it, but we can install ADB, we can install fast, we can all, do all kinds of cool stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys how to get this set up on here. Now this is only available really on newer Chromebooks. Older Chromebooks don't have this option to turn on the Linux development environment under development settings here on the, on the Chromebook. But now that we've got them set up, we can do some cool things. And so stay tuned for those videos because we're gonna get into some cool sweet stuff you can now do with this environment set up on your Chromebook. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any comments, please put them down below. I'm going to have a bunch of cool commands for you linked down there as well that you can check out and try in your terminal window here. And um, I think you're going to enjoy it. We'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.